Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back. Uh, today, I just wanted to give you guys a really quick, cool update to let you guys know uh, about the next future update. Uh, so, this today is entirely, this little video I'm making is about the grapples and a really, 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 really cool improvement that I made uh, to them. So, in the current version of the grapples that you guys have right now, um, it's actually, it's really good. Um, like, the grapples are actually working really good, but now they can actually be done even better. Uh, so what I did is I found a piece of code uh, from Farming Simulator 2017 that I totally forgot even existed and I applied it to the grapples not even sure if it would work but it did. So now basically what happens is that springy effect that used to be in the grapples uh, is pretty well gone. So what was happening is anytime you guys were reaching into log piles or trying to grab stuff if the grapples closing ever got hung up like each claw it would kind of spring forward and launch stuff out of the way uh so like for instance i'm going to pin this against the ground here so as i close do you see how it doesn't spring anymore now instead of getting hung up and going pew forward it just slowly kind of grinds forward really slowly that's kind of like how they do in real life they don't they don't do like a you know 500 mile an hour spring forward effect they close really smoothly and stay closed really smoothly just like that um, so in turn, by having that effect, it makes the grapple pick up logs way smoother. Um, it picks up logs and holds them way better. So for instance, in this pile of crap that I have going here, um, if you pick up uh, a decent pile of logs, it, it holds them really, really, really smoothly. But also when you're dropping them and unloading them, your grapple unloads them really smoothly too because it opens a lot slower. And when it when you're closing on the uh, on the ground, it closes a lot slower, so it doesn't have any of that like springy, launchy kind of nasty effect that was there before. Uh, and all of these logs are different sizes because I have a really messed up pile here that I was doing for some practice. So, um, yeah. So you'll notice when you're grabbing, see how they nicely roll up into the grapple, just like that's how they do it in real life. Um, they don't kind of spring all weirdly. Uh, in turn, by having that really nice dampening effect now. Um, when you're penciling, uh, if I can do this on this hill, um, they slide a lot better in the grapple compared to what they used to. And they used to really not slide very good in the grapple um, based on some feedback I heard from some people. Um, they would hang up on the sides or that springy effect would cause them to kind of like shoot out the sides. Um, as you can see now, uh, it, it does like a really perfect job. And again, when you go to grab from a pile, like I said, if you got hung up on a log or you got things pincered, it would like slam shut and it would launch the logs in a weird way. But now it does this really nice, cool, smooth kind of slide into the grapple and rolls them all up into a bundle. Just like it does in real life. <coughs> Which is pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. So like I said, everything settles really nice. Now in turn, um, let's grab all this crap out of here to you. I was just going to put some aside to show off another grapple here in a minute. Um, so in turn... I've also applied that exact same effect uh, from these grapples onto everything basically that has a grapple system. So for instance, this uh, buncher head now also has that exact same effect. So like I said, these claws no longer do the springy thing. They also close really smoothly on the ground. They don't hang up on anything. Uh, let's see if we can find a tree to cut here. You'll find, <coughs> excuse me, you'll find when you're cutting bigger trees now, um, It'll stay in the grapple really smoothly instead of bouncing around. So let's cut one of these. So now when you grip a tree and you grab it, you can actually use both sets of claws and clothes on it. And as you can see, that sucker is sitting pretty sturdy in there. You see, there's still a little bit of give. You see that guy wiggling about there? There's still a little bit of give in the grapples just to give the physics a little bit of a break. But for the most part, like that thing is sitting pretty darn solid in there considering. Um, and before what was happening was um, a lot of the times while you were cutting these bigger trees is they'd kind of bounce around in the grapple and uh, sometimes cause it to like fall out and do weird stuff. But now um, you can close pretty firmly right on top of them. And because of that dampening effect, it doesn't spring the log around while you're working. Uh, same when you're cutting like smaller trees, it no longer, it no longer um, leaves that in kind of like a, a really messy pile. Because when you're cutting multiple trees in uh, in a group and stuff, it's it's a lot easier. Like I said, you'd have lots of springiness before, and now as you can see, it it holds onto those trees actually really, really, really well. 
So that's sweet. Um, that also in turn has been applied to the processor. So the processor also has the same effect. So let's uh, let's fell a tree or two. How about that? Uh, where are we gonna go here? Let's go this way. Kind of in a crappy spot here. But basically, I've just applied that same effect to this processor head. Um, so now the claws, everything grabs the tree a lot better, balances a lot better. The one thing you're going to find is when you're processing, um, the head doesn't sit perfectly straight, and that's just a, a balance issue. So it has to sit like this when you're cutting off the ground, which is what we're doing about 99% of the time. Um, but in a raised position for felling, it doesn't really sit perfectly straight, and the balance just won't allow it in this game. It's just such a pain in the butt to make it proper, and that's just due to the heavier weights. So... Um, in turn, basically, what you have to do is you kind of have to swing it in. And once you get your first... Uh, let's see if I can get down here a little bit so I can see. There you go. So once you get those little tongs around the tree there and you start to grip, it'll actually close it up. And if you close your secondary, it'll just suck it right up to the tree, just like real life. Um, but, you know, all you have to do is just get the little tip of the tongs on there. And then... Oops. Uh, I'm working in the wrong angle here. Uh, this way. So once you get, like, that first bit of the tongs, just close those main knives... And you can close your secondary if you want. It'll suck it right up to the tree for your first cut. But now when you guys are cutting, um, you're going to find... I'm just going to get a little lower here. Um, you'll find that the head actually drops the trees really smoothly compared to before, where it would kind of shoot all over the place. Um, even on the medium-sized trees, it's a lot nicer. The really, really big ones, as long as you're not hitting it up against another tree, it's usually pretty good. Um, so we're going to cut this whole group of trees right here. So we're going to go in for another one. And we're going to fell it kind of that way, sure. But see how smooth that falls? Oh, it's so much nicer now. And the head, while you're processing, uh, especially off the ground, uh, settles a lot nicer. It feels a lot more, like, as you can see, it, 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 it stays stiff, I guess you could say. Like, a little more solid like real life. It doesn't do that stupid uh, kind of flinging around. Unless you're cutting a really big tree, then sometimes it still does that. But uh, Let's cut this little tree, or this medium-sized tree out of the way here. So again, once you get those tongs kind of on there, it'll suck right up to the tree. And then you can fall it. As you can see, the, the head stays extremely stable while I'm working. And that's a big one for me that I was really happy about that uh, physics discovery. Because now the trees settle so smoothly while I'm processing them. And I don't have to do anything special to do that. Okay, so now we're going to try a big one. The big ones are always a bit of a, a, bit of an, a nightmare, but we'll try it anyway. Uh, so let's go here. Again, if you put a little pressure on it, I'm just kind of feathering it. It still, it still, it jitters a bit because these trees are really heavy, but I mean, it settles pretty darn nice if you really look at it. Again, runs them pretty good, handles them pretty good. And these are darn big trees. Like, I don't really like the big trees, to be honest, for, for logging. But hey, makes a pile, so here we go. But yeah, as you can see, like I said, uh, the processor just behaves a lot smoother. It acts a lot better. Same thing when you're, like, running from piles and stuff. It uh, it grabs nice out of piles. Uh, I think you guys will just have general fun with that. With all the weight balances and all that good stuff, it's just all the processors are just so much better to work with. Um, and then the final thing I'm going to talk about in this video is the Timber Pro um, grapple. So this grapple has been completely redesigned. Um, as you can see, it looks a little bit different than the version you may, not, may have right now on your Timber Pros. Um, I redid the claws a little bit. The models were kind of ugly and sticking out the top and clipping through things and didn't look as good. Now it looks a lot better. So uh, much easier to handle, much easier to look at. Again, that same dampening effect has been applied to these grapples. And if I can get a decent grab on one, maybe let's not go too haywire. Um, you'll notice when you grab with this guy, it's just a lot more solid. Uh, we're also grabbing the weirdest length of trees right now. I promise you when you grab normal shaped trees, um, it's going to be great. Let's pull ahead a little here. I'm just going to get a little closer so I can uh, grab these in the middle here. There we go. Close enough. So now, like I said, when you're grabbing these, they just, you'll find the head, if I grab in the middle here, uh, let's grab these, you'll just find that the head is so much more uh, solid. Try not to grab that bottom one. Uh, while you're pro or while you're uh, moving the trees around, it just it feels like it doesn't wiggle around as much. It doesn't buck back and forth. Uh, if you're if you're doing like six and a half, it'll probably feel a little smoother. But we're just gonna 
grab this big pile of crap that I made on the ground here. Oops. Wow, three. Real big grab there. Um, but as you can see, like, it's just a lot faster. I was watching some videos of real, uh, real, uh, forwarders working, and they just, they do stay a lot more solid. Like, as you can see, it, it balances a lot better. Like, it stays more kind of in the center. It feels more balanced. The other one was, I'm not sure if it was just the weights or how I had the, had it balanced, but it would just flop around a lot more while you're trying to grab logs. Um, I haven't actually tried penciling with this thing yet. I wonder if that's still... We're gonna test this right now in the video so in real life they do penciling right where they kind of grab it from the end and they flip it up oops uh, if I can manage to do that and then kind of let them out yeah that seemed to work all right ah it was like a textbook penciling right there perfect yeah and then like I said see how it stays really nice and kind of sturdy in the middle it's just I think it's just gonna be a lot easier uh, experience for people especially new guys getting into forwarding and stuff Instead of trying to fight with the grapple like the old one did. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be fun. I'm just having fun now, so you guys will have to just enjoy this. But yeah, the the overall whole point of the update, um, when it does come out, and it probably it's probably going to come out in March sometime. I don't want to give any exact promised dates. Um, but this is just one of the features of it. There are going to be some new toys as well. Uh, we're going to go over those in a future video, but... Between the uh, amazing new grapples the on everything, even the skitter has the same thing, uh, the processor and all that stuff, I just wanted to share that with you because it was exciting. It was super exciting for me, and I love to uh, constantly be developing and coming up with new cool stuff. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that, and in the next update, uh, you guys can test it out just as much as I've been. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.